Hi guys, welcome to Shields Cooking. Today I wanted to start off by telling you guys something very exciting. Because from next week on, I will no longer work at Restaurant Moon, but I will start to do YouTube full time. So for me it's been a really hard decision, but I stand by it 100% and I can't wait to share even more great content here on YouTube. So please stick around, uh, keep watching, keep sharing and help support me with this decision. Uh, so today we're going to make a beautiful dessert made from black sesame seeds, blackberry and dark chocolate. So, let's begin. We're going to start with the black sesame praline. For this, mix 550 grams of sugar with 150 grams of water in a saucepan and heat this up till you have a nice and golden brown caramel. And pour it on a silicon sheet and let it cool down completely. Meanwhile, pour 660 grams of black sesame seeds on a tray and bake them at 160 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. After that, transfer them into a wet grinder. Now break the caramel and remove it from the silicon sheet. Add this to the sesame seeds and start grinding it into a nice praline. This takes around 6 hours. You can also do this in a blender, it's much faster, but it's not going to be as smooth as in a grinder. Once it's done, pour the praline in a bowl and make sure you don't waste anything of this black gold. Now soak 4 leaves of gelatin in cold water, mine are 1.6 grams a piece. Then pour 180 grams of praline in a saucepan together with 420 grams of double cream and 60 grams of milk. Now bring this to a boil. Once it has boiled, add your gelatin and 200 grams of dark chocolate. Mix this and then pour it in a bowl. Then add 180 grams of double cream and mix it for around 20 seconds with a hand mixer. Now cover it with plastic foil and let it set in your fridge for at least 8 hours. Then the cremeux. First soak 3 leaves of gelatin and cut 2 limes in half. Measure 30 grams of the juice in a saucepan together with 180 grams of the praline 300 grams of double cream and 100 grams of egg yolk. Mix this and then while stirring bring it to a boil on a medium heat. Once it has boiled, add your gelatin and mix it once more. Then cover an oven dish with plastic foil and pour in your cremeux. Let it set in your fridge. Now for the blackberry jelly. First, cut one piece of lemongrass in small pieces and transfer them into a bowl. Also add 900 grams of frozen blackberries and 90 grams of sugar. Wrap this tight with plastic foil and heat it up on a double boiler for around 4 hours. After that, let it drain on a sieve that's laid with the kitchen paper. Then soak two leaves of gelatin and spray some oil on two trays. Now pour 200 grams of the broth in a saucepan and also add one gram of agar powder. Mix this and then bring it to a boil for one minute. Then add your gelatin, give it another mix and pour 70 grams of the liquid on each tray. Let this set for around 5 minutes and then let it set completely in your fridge. Now the sorbet. First blender 1 kg of blackberries till smooth. Then pour it on a sieve and use a ladle to press any liquid out of the pulp. After that measure 860 grams of the liquid and also add 120 grams of glucose, 190 grams of sugar and 50 leaves of basil. Mix this till smooth. Then pour it in an ice cream machine and spin it till you have a nice sorbet.
Then cover it with plastic foil and let it set in your freezer for around 1 hour. Now the crumble. Mix 100 grams of butter with 100 grams of sugar, 100 grams of black sesame seeds, 2 grams of flaky salt, 80 grams of flour and 40 grams of melted dark chocolate. Knead this till you have a nice dough and divide the dough in smaller pieces on a silicon sheet. Bake it at 160 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes and mix it every 5 minutes using a whisk. Once it's done, let it cool down completely. Then mix 80 grams of the crumble with 100 grams of melted dark chocolate in a bowl. Now pour it on a silicon sheet, put another sheet on top and flatten it out using a rolling pin. Transfer the sheet on a tray and let it set in your fridge. Once it's set, cut it into the desired shape and keep it in your fridge. Now transfer your sesame ganache in a mixing bowl and mix it for around 2 minutes. Then transfer it into a piping bag fitted with a round nozzle. After that, cut some blackberries in half. And now we can start to finish our dessert. First, cut the creme into the desired shape. And put your jelly on a plastic sheet, put your creme on top and cut it in the same size. Now put it on a plate, put the chocolate crispy on top and pipe 4 dots of the cream on the crispy. Repeat this process once more, only this time with smaller dots of the cream. Then put the cut blackberries and some white magnolia on there as well. Now place some crumb body on the side and put a nice canal of the sorbet on top. Use your spoon to make a little dimple and fill it with the black sesame. Enjoy! Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So please don't forget to like and share because like I said in the beginning of the video, it really makes a huge difference. Subscribe if you want to see more videos and as always, bon appetit!